Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another PlayStation 5 review. Today's review is for Hard Space Shipbreaker. Now this is a game that's just made its way over to the PlayStation. It has been out on PC I think for about a year now, something like that. Um, and now it's made its way to consoles, now it's come out of uh, early access. Now, this is a game that I did notice when it first came out on the PC about 12 months ago. Um, it was a game that looked really, really interesting to me. And for those of you who don't know, who doesn't know, who don't know anything about this game, um, what this game is really is like a salvage game, a space salvage game. Uh, you start off, um, if you choose the career mode, you start off as um, some like salvage guy, new to the post. You, there's like a tutorial that you go through. Um, you start off in absolute huge debt in order to get your, your foot in the door. Uh, you're shown the ropes uh, and then you're sent out and you basically salvage ships, spaceships. Uh, so there'll be these spaceships that you can put in the docks, you go out there, float out to them, uh, you cut them up and you salvage the bits and pieces, make profit, try and stay safe, stay alive and then rinse and repeat sort of thing, start um again each day try and make more money so that's the kind of gameplay loop that you're looking at here with hard space shipbreaker now uh, did i ever think that i would enjoy like a, a ship spaceship salvage game well no honestly i never really did it's that that's i think one of the things that is really good about this game is it's it's originality if you like it takes what sounds like a fairly boring gameplay loop and turns it into something really quite fun and interesting um, and really addictive that's something i will say about this game it is massively addictive now before we get into the um, real um, logistics of the game how it works and that sort of thing we'll go through some of the modes that you've got now uh, granted most of the game play that i've played on this game has been on the career mode um, now if you do choose to go into the career mode which i suspect many of you will uh, you can even customize the career mode to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, now, essentially, if you go into this game without making any adjustments at all, you're going to have to like manage your oxygen and things like that in this game, which bas basically means you've got to make your way back to your habitat every 10 or 15 minutes to get some fresh oxygen. Um, I started this game initially by getting rid of that option so that I didn't have to keep refilling my oxygen because I... When I start games like this, or most games in general, I usually go in there with the easiest options so that I can learn the game, learn how to play the game, put quite a few hours into it, and then so quite a lot of the times I'll restart it and then increase the difficulty level. Um, and then I, f I know much more about what I'm doing uh, and I can manage things a little bit better. And that's exactly what I did in this game. Um, the first chunk of this game that I put into it was uh, with kind of like that option turned off so that I didn't have to worry about oxygen and things like that. And it allowed me to learn the game. And then I basically I went in after about five, six hours and then put the option back on. And I understood how the game worked and it worked a lot better for me. So you've got that option in career mode. You can kind of customise it to make it as easy or as hard as you want it to be, which I think is a really nice option. There's also a few other uh, modes on there as well. There's free play mode, which speaks for itself. It's exactly, you know, you can kind of go in there, do what you want with very few limitations sort of thing. And then there's like a cutter's race, which is where you basically go up against other people. It's like a multiplayer type mode where you go up against other players and see who can scrap ships the fastest sort of thing and make the most money, uh, make the most profit out of it. And there's like a leaderboard so you can kind of see who's doing best. Honestly, guys, I haven't tried that mode yet. I've, I'm not really a multiplayer type of person. I'm one of these people that just likes to chill out, relax, and play these sort of games at my own pace. As soon as I see something like race in the title of a mode, I'm generally not interested. But it might be a mode that you will be interested in, and it's there if you want it to. So how does this game work then? Well, I've explained the basics of it. You will go into the game... Um, you'll head out into like the dock and you'll start scrapping ships and you've got a number of tools to be able to do this um, you've got like um, a cutting tool that's got a few different modes on it so you've got like a single beam or like a longer beam that allows you to cut through and burn through certain things and this will allow you to kind of uh, essentially how I and you can do it however you want really but you've got to be quite careful if you go in there 
really aggressively just start cutting through everything there's things behind panels that will explode um, and you don't really want to die while you're out there uh, and if you do die in this game it kind of reclones you and sends you back out there but it costs you money so you'll end up in, in, in even bigger debt so it makes sense to really go at this a little bit more sensibly and I do it kind of from the inside out I'll make my way into a ship and kind of cut my way out from the inside um, and that's how I generally do it and that has worked best for me so far in regards to um, cutting through ships but you could do it however you want um, so you've got like this cutting tool so that will cut in a few different ways a few different options and it's completely upgradable you can make it better stronger so on and so forth um, and then you've got like a grapple um, machine as well and that, that is exactly how it sounds it allows you to kind of grapple onto a piece of salvage and then direct it to where you want it to go um, and then you've got tethers as well and anybody that's played you know um, uh, games generally speaking you know what a tether is you connect it to one end and then you connect it to another and then it'll drag it wherever you want it to go and the tethers work well for the heavier pieces of machinery now in order to make money you need to salvage the right pieces into the right areas um, so you've got three uh, three different places that you want to salvage it you've got like a furnace which is where uh, you will put some of the some of the salvage you've got like a processor where you'll put some of the salvage and you've got like um, one at the bottom as well like the green one you can see there and that is where you put like the most valuable salvage down at the bottom um, if you if you're not careful and you don't cut things away properly you'll end up losing money because you'll just cut chunks away and send it into the processor but there may be parts connected to that processor that belonged in the furnace and down at the uh, green salvage bit at the bottom which i forget the name of right now so it, it it pays for you to kind of take time and to take care in what you're doing and you know there is no rush really when you're playing it and that's what i really like about this game I basically don't do rushing I don't like rushing in anything in any part of my life and I certainly don't like doing it in gaming and this game kind of rewards patience because if you're patient and you cut things away properly and carefully then you will make more money more profits um, and that's essentially what you're wanting to do you are wanting to make more money and more profits so that you can cut down on your debt so at the end of each shift you'll head back to your habitat and you've got like a habitat and in there you can you can kind of customize that habitat however you want uh, you can put like posters up that you, can, that you collect out there on um, on jobs and uh, there's other bits and pieces you can do to kind of upgrade uh, your habitat uh, that's where you will you've got like a work, work table that's where you upgrade your tools and all this kind of stuff you can get messages from other get other characters in the game um, and even though it's like very little in the way of like a story here, I mean the story basically is you, you're a rookie on the job and you're trying to make money to um, reduce uh, your debt to the company. And there's a few characters that pop up here and there that'll chat to you and show you the rope, so on and so forth. But it's fairly light in story really, it's not one of those games you don't really need it to have a lot of story. Um, the gameplay I think certainly speaks for itself. So. If this is your sort of thing you think if you like quite repetitive but repetitive but rewarding gameplay if you like some like light puzzle solving uh, and gameplay that rewards patience um, and a fairly addictive gameplay loop this is this is a game that has actually really really grabbed me in a sense of being really addictive it's nice and chilled nice and relaxed um, it can get a little bit tense here and there uh, and that really just depends on what kind of way you want to cut these ships up if you go in there all guns blazing like i say like a bull in a china shop you, you're not going to maximize your profits and you're going to end up dying a few times um but it, it's fun it's addictive and i've been really enjoying the gameplay so far so i'm going to give it a very very strong eight out of ten this one um it's it's quite impressed me and it's it's not a full price game i paid just less than 30 pounds for it in the uk i think that's a fair price for a game like this it's a game that you'll get many hours of satisfaction from um some good gameplay from um and it's certainly worth picking up because it's something different we all look for a little bit of originality these ga these days in our gaming and this game will certainly give you that it's something a little bit different and i certainly appreciate that so i hope you enjoy this review everybody i hope you find it useful i will of course be back with more reviews and content on the channel very very soon